Yes, see, this is Friday. It belongs to Venus or Aphrodite in, in Greek uh, version of the word. Venus is Roman. Jupiter is Roman. Mars, they are Roman, but they have their uh, Greek equivalent as well. So, from black to white, it covers all the colors. And in seven he tells, he narrates seven stories to uh, attract your attention in every day of the week to a certain very delicate point of your journey toward God. Since we do not have much time, I will just uh, give you a very short account of Rumi and then I bring it to an end. Rumi is the Shahzad, you have heard of Shahzad and the Thousand and One Nights story. And uh, he is the Shahzad of mystical literature. And uh, from very small, I mean, very uh, short to very long stories. His short stories are often very humorous, but each of them give you a point about the journey of love. For example, one story tells you how the lover and the beloved should be one. Rumi says, when a man and a woman become one, then they are God. See, so one means God. So when you are one, together, when two is one, then it is God. مردوزن چون یک شوند آن یک توی چون که یک ها محف شد آنک توی So there is a story that somebody came and knocked at the friend's door A voice from within said who is that knocking at the door He said well it is I The man said well go away with you You are too immature now You are not allowed to enter to, into this house He went out for one whole year and he was burning in separation and then he came back. He came back and uh, he knocked again. And then he said, who is knocking at the door? It is, he said, it is you knocking at the door. He said, now that you are me, then come in. Because in this house there is no place for two eyes. So it, it goes back to the story of the one. You see, this is, they are one. They are not two. The lover and the beloved are one. There is another story of uh, how you have to learn to swim in the, in the ocean of love. You have, uh, it is not sufficient to know something about love, to know something about these uh, uh, ordinary uh, sciences, to learn something and to add to your knowledge, to your information. You see, according to T.S. Eliot, he says that once we had wisdom, and then from wisdom, we descended to knowledge. And from knowledge, we have descended into information. And from information, into total ignorance. See? So, uh, we have to rise back to this wisdom, not knowledge. Even knowledge uh, doing some uh, self-conceit. So, he tells you the story of a self-conceited grammarian. You know, in the past, grammarian people believed that, well, they know so much about the grammar and the uh, very delicate and intricate uh, uh, relationship between the words. So he, he embarked on a ship and then he turned, he was very self-conceited, he turned to the captain and said, have you ever studied grammar? He said, well, no, I never heard of it. <laughs> he said, then half of your life is gone for notes. He said, then half of your life is gone for notes. And then the captain was broken-hearted, but he didn't say anything at the time. And then after a time, it was this, uh, the sea was stormy, and the ship was about to sink. So the captain turned to the grammarian and said, Have you ever studied how to swim? He said, No, I never learned it. He said, Then all your life is done for no. Because it is not a question of um, nav, which is grammar. You have to study mav, which means annihilation, and the road of uh, love, you have to learn the, the, the knowledge of annihilation rather than of grammar. You know, this is what actually Miss um, uh, Emily Dickinson says, who are you? I am nobody. In a very beautiful poem, he says, I am nobody. Who are you? If you are nobody like me, then we are two. 
don't tell anyone. They would banish us because people are somebody and they want to be somebody. They don't know that if they are nobody, then they are everybody. You see, when you are somebody, then you are limited to that somebody. This is just a piece of calligraphy. So it's nothing else. That is another piece. That is the piece of painting. That is all limited to that, that form, that, that body he is taking. He is somebody. But if you ask a mirror, who are you? He says, well, I'm nobody. But since I'm nobody, I am green, I am blue, I, am, I have all forms of the world. My heart is the spectacle of all forms. So, in another story, Rumi wants to show you um, how you have to, to, to abide by your beloved and to suffer the hardships of love. It is not just to say the name of love and then go on your way and to see, to think that it is, an, it is not an easy way. It has its own hardships. So he tells the story of Ghazni from the province of Iran, of near Tehran. He happened to come to a, a public bus and he asked someone to tattoo on his back the picture of, uh, the, uh, of, of a lion. Lion is a symbol of love, again, because it devours you and eats you completely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because somebody was asked, what is, uh, what is a lion? He said, uh, this is lion. He said, well, this is no lion, it's just some words. And then he uh, drew the picture of a lion. He said, this is lion. He said, this is no lion, because if you beat it, it doesn't move. So what, is, what sort of lion it is? Then he took the man by the hand and uh, took him to a wood. And then from that far, he showed him the real lion. He said, well, is that lion? He said, no, it is not lion. And then he became angry and said, well, what is lion then? He said, well, lion is the one that devoured you. See? So love is not what you are talking about. Love is not what you know about it. And love is not what you can capture. You are captured by love. You have to be devoured. You have to be hunted. Um, you can't hunt love. You have to let yourself be hunted by love. So uh, the story goes like this, that uh, he said, well, draw a picture of a lion on my back. Um, and he started, it, it is very painful because you have to push uh, 